Hello friends, it's Arrow to the end here. I'd like to share with you a fundamentalist Christian page that I came across that's got its very own section dedicated to our young ones. Yes, friends, it's Objective Ministries. Objective for kids with Lamuel. Check him out. Hello, my name is Lamuel. And I hope that we can be friends. I would like to share with you my love for Jesus. Did you know that Jesus loves each and every one of us? It's true. In the Bible, he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Isn't that cool? And for all he's done for us, all Jesus wants for us to do is love him back. And believe in him, even though uh, there's no, uh, no reason to. He wants us to love him so much that any other love would be like hate. If any man come to me, and hate not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. I love Jesus more than anything. How about you? Well, they seem to have taken a huge liberty interpreting that passage. <laughs> wow. My objective is just for kids. The Z is for zealousness, because Jesus wants us to be hot for him. I got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. I'm hot for Jesus. Bad, so bad. I'm hot for Jesus. Jesus wants us to be hot for him. Not lukewarm. I read in the Bible that he said, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Let's do that, even though we're just children and we don't know what any of that means. Have fun, and remember, Jesus and I love you. Cool. Now that we... Now... Now it's puzzle time. Oh no, Lamuel is late for church. Can you help Lamuel get to the church on time while avoiding temptations along the way? I found money. Oh, it's bad. Oh, my sweet tooth is bad. <laughs> Oh, kissing women is bad. Oh, the nap time no, it's bad. Hooray, we're at church. Click for solution. No silly peeking. Oh, Lamuel learns how to get to church. Oh, it's a bath of the cross. That is so fucking lame. God damn it, dude. Are you serious? Oh, hey. Let's see what the next puzzle is. Ruby loves Lamuel. Ruby the lioness thinks Lamuel is cute and wants to marry him one day. But will Lamuel make a good husband for Ruby? You can help Ruby decide by matching the famous biblical husbands to their wives. Um... Nope, don't think we'll do that one, kids. Now, it's time for Religious Intolerance. 
one of the main tenets of the Christian faith is that our intolerance is immune to ridicule. So we're free to ridicule while others can't ridicule us. Isn't that terrific? Let's join up with Habu in Habu's Corner. Hey Habu, how many gods do you have? I don't rightfully know. I lost count. Why so many gods did I with you? Wouldn't you rather have just one god who loves you a bunch than a bunch of gods that don't love you at all? <laughs> Jesus loves everybody. Even the unsaved heathen faggot asshole Muslim Hindu Habu. Remember to pray for Habu's heathen soul and other heathens like him so that they may find Jesus and accept him into their hearts. Because otherwise they're going straight to hell, goddammit. And here's a great spiritual safety tip. What should you do if you find an atheist? Bah, I don't believe in anything. I'm staying home on Sunday. Atheists such as crotchety old Mr. Gruff think they've got it all figured out. But then why are they always so sad? If you find an atheist in your neighborhood, tell a parent or pastor right away. You may be moved to try and witness to these poor, heathenistic, faggot, asshole, liberal, lost souls yourself. However, avoid talking to them at all costs. Atheists are often very grumpy and bitter and will lash out at children with their penises or fists or they may even try and trick you into neglecting God's word, which is worse than if they actually raped you. Very advanced witnessing techniques are needed for these grouches. Let the adults handle them. Creation Science Fun Facts with Professor Giraffenstein. Yeah. Hello, I'm Professor Giraffenstein, the creation scientist. And here's my little buddy, Pepper the Moth. Pepper says, Hey, Professor, haven't dinosaurs been extinct for millions of years? Click here for answer. Wrong, little buddy. Dinosaurs still walk on the land and swim in the seas, and the Earth is less than 10,000 years old. It's a fact. Oh, fun fact number two. I saw in a secular movie that the T-Rex was a vicious killing machine. Is this true? No, secular movies lie. Only Christians tell the truth, replete with the word and splendor of God. T-Rex was a herbivore. His sharp teeth were used to shed plants. The ox passengers were safe from harm. <sighs> Professor, what are fossils and where did they come from? Fossils are the buried remains of the wicked men and animals that perished 4,000 years ago in the flood. <laughs> That's a scientific fact. <laughs> Professor, I was wondering... Well, my ancestors are Noah's Ark. Yes, indeed. All of our ancestors were on the Ark, except for our fishy friends. Did Adam and Eve have belly buttons, Professor? No. Adam and Eve were the first parents, so they never had them. Also, Adam was missing one rib. You're so silly. Haven't you read your Bible? <laughs> Professor, where did Cain get his wife? Inbreeding. I mean, all humans are descendants of Adam and Eve, who had many sons and daughters, so Cain married one of his sons. Oh, it's fucking inbreeding! <laughs> Professor, when Neanderthals, the monkey men of evolutionists, keep talking about stupid evolutionists, they try to fuck up my goddamn scripture, you stupid motherfuckers! No, Neanderthals were humans with abnormal bone growth due to very advanced age and flood cloud related rickets. You stupid science, secular humanist scientist. These are scientific facts, you stupid fucking assholes. My friend Bombi, the Bombardier Beetle, can shoot boiling hot toxic chemicals out of his butt. Why? 
God gave your friend that ability for defense against evil and as a testament against the false doctrine of evolutionism. But he didn't want all the Beatles to butt rape him. <laughs> Wasn't those fun facts? Thank you. <laughs> now it's time for Hop Size history lesson. Hop Size the Kangajou. That doesn't seem a little bit racist to you, does it? The Kangajou knows history because his family lived it. Hapsai lives in the Middle East, where his ancestors and those of all the other animals and humans alive today exited Noah's Ark 4,000 years ago. But unlike the other kangaroos who hopped all the way to Australia, Hapsai's family stayed behind to witness the coming of the Messiah. Yeah, 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 yeah.